Could have been a lot worse. Thanks for the help. The fog condenser should keep us safe enough. As long as they keep working.
Hey. Sure, sure. Or just keep your shirt on. Just looking to trade a little.
Making like a bird, eh? Let's do it. Attention. Delta Team Lead, report to the bridge. Delta Team Lead to the bridge. You're going into the Institute alone? Sounds like a suicide mission to me. I'm worried about these recruits. Too young, too green. I can't believe super mutants were human once. How could science have Excuse me, Proctor Teagan. Can I help you with anything? Set me up. Got some choice weapons that just came in.
really should have my armor rating the common mode here. Huge experience. Hot shots and big mouths end up with closed gasket fuels. Hard to believe a place this vast was essentially a glorified bus terminal.
Hey. Yeah. Hey. Need something, lover. We should go our separate ways. Sure. I'll head home and wait for you. Don't stay away too long, or I might start getting lonely. and shine love. We're not gonna quit saying down bad so much longer if we don't get on the We're close. All we need is enough power to fire up the signal interceptor. Proctor. Better check all your connections and make sure all the components are wired together on a single grid. We're close. All we need is enough power to fire up the signal. Ingram? Maxon's waiting to talk to you, and I'm not throwing the switch until he gives us the going. Remarkable work, Knight. The signal interceptor appears to be complete. Are you ready to put it to the test? Absolutely. I'm ready to go. Your confidence is an inspiration to us all. That being said, this is the first time we've attempted to directly adapt Institute technology. When we throw that switch, we don't know exactly what's going to happen. God willing, you'll end up inside the Institute, and the mission can continue. Nothing's going to stop me when I'm so close to the answers I'm looking for. Eager to get inside, huh? Good. Now. I want you to listen very carefully. Once you've entered the Institute, we expect to lose contact. So it's imperative you remember everything I'm about to tell you. About ten years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison Lee, a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. How did the Brotherhood meet Dr. Lee? She was part of a civilian project in the Capital Wasteland that the Brotherhood appropriated. It wasn't difficult to convince her to stay. That said, Dr. Lee's contributions to our cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. We're fairly certain that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. What sort of differences? Although she was working with the Brotherhood of Steel, she never formally joined as a scribe. After the Capital Wasteland was secured, she objected to the Brotherhood's continued military presence there. I think she assumed we would just walk away from it all. She was wrong. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her and convince her to return to the Brotherhood of Steel. There's a special project we're working on, and it needs her attention. 
What's this project that needs her attention? Dr. Lee previously worked on a potent weapon for the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd like her to continue where she left off. That's all I can tell you. Listen to me, Knight. I'm well aware that you're risking your life going into the Institute blind. Just keep your mind on the mission. And don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Good luck. I swore I heard something. Checked and rechecked everything. I think the signal interceptor's ready to go. Are you? Let's do this. All right. Head up onto the platform and we'll see if I can find a signal to lock onto. You wanted to get into the Institute, right? Well, what are you waiting for? Relays dialed in, beam emitters warmed up, everything looks green. Let me start scanning for the signal. Cross your fingers, I'm inputting the code now. Wow, there's a heck of a lot of interference and ghosting. It's gonna take a minute or two to lock in. By the way, this little trip you're taking is a heck of an opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. I put a clever little program on this holotape that'll scan their network and download anything it finds. If you place it in any terminal down there, it'll do the rest. Bring it back to me and I'll see if I can make sense of whatever it found. Well, well, looks like we have a winner. RF wave capture complete. Ramping the emitter. 60%, 80%. Emitter spiking but steady. All that's left is to throw the transmit switch. Transmitting in three, two, one. Stay safe, soldier. I wonder if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I'm known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator.
I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Busted. No use. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean. I've been looking for you for so long. Who are you? Sean, where is everyone? Father! What's going on? What's happening? Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! Sean, open the door! I don't know you! Go away! Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Sean, please! Calm down! I'll get you out of there! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code... Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. This is... insane. All of it! The degree of trauma you're experiencing right now is understandable. Please, just try to relax. I know this is all difficult to take in. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here, in the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been real. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am... your son. It's really you? After all this time? Yes. It's true. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. 
But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Sixty years. So much time. Wasted. I know. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Your mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with a loss. Has it always been easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say? To ease your mind. So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. They're scared of you, Sean. Scared of the Institute. People are always frightened by what they don't understand. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. What else can I say? To ease your mind. Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. 
What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> I don't expect you to understand or agree with the decision. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. I know there's more for us to discuss, but the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Maybe. I... I don't know. This is so much to take in. I know. And I am sorry. You have been through so much in such a short time. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. I don't know what to do. I realize that. It's why I'm trying to help you. I hope that you can see that rationally. The Institute is the only thing left in the world that is worth being part of. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? All right. Thank you. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB, Dr. Holdren in Bioscience, and finally Dr. Lee in Advanced Systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next.
I've heard stories. Almost We're done. This sure sounds Just scary. Need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. As far as I'm concerned. Is it true food supplement 77 has been discontinued? That is correct. That was my favorite one. She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this Dr. Point, Lee. She's just doing oh, it's you. Fun. You're not authorized to be here. Actually, I was looking for you. Me? Why? I've been sent by the Brotherhood of Steel to find you. You don't beat around the bush, I'll give you that. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. Why would we want you dead? I did some pretty sensitive work for the Brotherhood of Steel. Even though Lyons let me go, there were a few others in the ranks that thought I knew too much. That's why I came to the Institute. It was the only place that I thought I'd be out of the Brotherhood's reach and still be able to do my research. Hmm. Since Father trusts you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I might not agree with everything he says, but I know he'd never allow harm to come my way. Say what you came here to say, and then leave me alone. Are you happy here? You'd think being surrounded by cutting-edge laboratory equipment and some of the greatest minds the world's ever known would be enough. Only problem is the lack of transparency. I don't think we get the full story on everything that occurs down here. What does that have to do with why we're talking? You should return to the Brotherhood. Even if I wanted to return to them, why would they want me back? The Brotherhood valued your presence, and we'd like you to come back. Well, how sweet of them. Tell me something. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished here? Father trusts me, and so should you. He trusts you because you're family. I'm not. I can't just take your word for it. I need more than that. The Brotherhood has always been straight with you. You're wasting your breath. I'm a scientist, not a soldier. The Brotherhood desired my creations in order to destroy, to take control. I'm not interested in returning to that way of life. I give up. What would it take to convince you? All right, I'll play your game. I had a colleague down here, a Dr. Virgil. Several months ago, there was an accident in his lab, and he was killed. I wanted to help with the investigation, but Father had the laboratory sealed, saying that it was contaminated. The incident never sat right with me. The more I asked about it, the more I felt like Father was deflecting my questions. If you bring me solid information on what killed him, I'll take it as a favor from the Brotherhood and consider your offer. Do we have a deal? I know this may come as a shock, but Dr. Virgil is still alive. I met him myself. Oh, please. Do you really think a cheap tactic like that is going to work on someone like me? Stop trying to avoid the legwork by lying. Either you get me the evidence, or we have nothing else to talk about. Deal? Deal. All right. Dr. Virgil's lab was in the Biosciences Division. I can give you a code that will get you into the section, but the lab itself has been sealed, so you'll have to breach it on your own. I'd tell you to be quiet about it, but your brotherhood and discretion isn't exactly your strong suit. And finally, if you get caught, we never had this conversation. Now, for the sake of keeping up appearances, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. I don't want one of those things anywhere near me. If you expect to be coming and going, you're going to need one. You may have noticed the relay is our only access to the surface. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Speaking of, I trust our discussion will remain between the two of us. Now, I need to get back to work, and I'm sure you have other things to do.
Safety first. Remember that. Sleep is such a waste of time. I'd rather be designed. Greetings, sir. Welcome to the commissary. Would you care for food? Don't need anything today. Terminal should open this. This a clean floor. Sometimes I hide my dad's work notes just to mess with him. It drives him crazy. 
Welcome to the Institute, sir. You know the protocol, sir. Authorized personnel only. So Dr. Ayo thinks he can hide in his office, does he? Well, you can tell him that no I intend to... It's an honor to have you here, sir. We'll start the next trial. dosage will be much larger this time, and the side effects will likely be more pronounced. Will there be any pain? I honestly don't know. I suppose... It's your job to find out. Now hold still. And there, all done. You can return to your duties, and remember to record every symptom you experience in detail. I hope I'll prove a useful test subject for you, Doctor. Mm -hmm. We are honored to welcome you here. You're here. Glad you made it. Greetings. As the Institute's requisition vendor, I can provide supplies for your missions on the surface. How may I assist you today? Sure. Let's take a look.
clear. Perimeter movement detected. Possible stealth unit in the AO. Negative sensor read. Weapons cold. Scanners detecting sentient life. Alert level elevated. Standing down. Sensor alert. Anomaly detected. Got it.
personal record, Dr. Brian Virgil. This will likely be my last recording. My requests to shut down the FEV program have repeatedly been denied. We've learned nothing useful in the last ten years. Why does Father insist on continuing it? If he won't see reason, then I have to take matters into my own hands. What we're doing... It's not right. It needs to stop. If anyone should find this after... After I'm gone. Know that I never wanted to hurt anyone. Anyone! Do you understand me? I'm gonna make sure the whole program is shut down. If not for good, then... At least for years to come. After that... I know what I'm about to do will be seen as a betrayal. Treason, he'll probably call it. So... I'm leaving. I have a plan. And if it works, I'll be somewhere safe. Somewhere not even the Coursers can find me. Everything that we've done. The lives we've taken. If there is a god, may he have mercy on us all. This is Dr. Elliot reporting for the Bioscience Division. March 22-24. We just received another batch of subjects. But as my previous report stated, we're at an impasse here. More of the same won't help. The two most promising strains of FEV have been adapted to an ideal state, but we're still missing something. I am officially echoing the team's position. The most likely progress for our research on synthetic organics requires new avenues of exploration. Additional Commonwealth subjects will not help. It's the same problem across the board. Exposure to too much radiation. We need something... someone new. There's a proposal we'll be putting forward, I am not entirely comfortable with it, but it seems the best course. Uh, this is Dr. Elliot with the official report for the Directorate from Bioscience. The date is, um, August, 2178. I'm pleased to report that, as has been the case during my tenure, crop yields exceed expectations. In point of fact, everything down here is fine with one notable exception. Dr. Frederick has informed me that the Directorate has pre-approved research on samples of the FEV virus, which he already has in his possession. Now, I'm not one to question the Directorate, you all know that. I don't even want to know where this came from. But, well, this is troubling. Dangerous, possibly. I will do my best to make sure risks are minimized. But I really do hope that the consequences are understood. Dr. Holdren's Synth Gorilla project is showing promising results.
So you were there the day the bombs fell. You had time that must have been my terrifying. On batch We're all looking forward to working with you. Do we really need all these coursers roaming the halls? The commissary is always open. Would you like some processed sustenance packets? Sir, welcome to the commissary. Would you care for food? Excuse me, Dr. Lee? Took you long enough to find that evidence. Let me see what you've got. Here you go. A holotape. This better not be a waste of my time. I'm gonna make sure the whole program is shut down. If not for good, then at least for years to come. After that, I know what I'm about to do when we see through the betrayal. Treason, he'll probably call it. So, I'm leaving. I have a plan. And if it works, I'll be somewhere safe. Somewhere not even the coursers can find me. They lied to me. They lied to me, and I didn't even realize how far it went. All those years of loyalty. For nothing. Now you know that Father is a liar. He doesn't deserve to have you here. And I'll never forgive him for it. I came to the Institute to get away from the Brotherhood. From the whole world. I just wanted to do my research in peace. Father took me in and gave me access to cutting-edge technology that I only dreamed existed. <laughs> I became jaded. I thought that the Institute cared, that they wanted to better mankind. <sighs> Maybe in their own twisted way they still do. But now I realize if you can't trust the people you're working for, then it's all pointless. If they lied about Dr. Virgil, who knows what else they've been lying about? or what their plans are for my work. I'll make my way back to the Brotherhood, but I'm going to have to do it on my own. I can't take any chances being seen with you. Tell whoever sent you that they've just regained the services of Dr. Madison Lee. In case anyone didn't mention it, quiet time runs from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. One day, I'll design a more efficient reactor to replace that old... Reporting status. All functions normal. Are you seriously thinking of heading over to robotics to knock some Carry heads on, together? Sir. Now, they're dragging their feet on the targeting package upgrades I asked for. Maybe I should take some courses with me. You know, send a message. Mm. Please don't. There's enough friction as it is between us. Dr. Orman's lecture much all the on other departments. Humans, nothing short of a revelation. My methods get results, and they will this time as well. You'll see. Pardon me, sir.
The Directorate should take the synth escapes more seriously. to report, sir. useless. I know you'll achieve great things here. When Keep are you going to tell me about this mysterious Phase 3? You know I can't talk about that.
I've heard so much about you. What a remarkable story. Just as you gave life to Father, he gave life to many of us. his mind. I can't believe he really expects me to do this. I've always been on board with the Gen 3 program. It makes sense, but this? Nothing good can come from this. How am I supposed to explain to my staff that Sean wants a child synth for no immediately apparent valid line of research? And to base the physical features off records of his own childhood? Subject it defies identified. all logic. No, I can't do this. I won't. All systems nominal. It's an honor to meet you, sir. We are honored to welcome you here. Look, Director, I'm gonna make the same recommendation I did last time. We did everything we could. Four years dedicated to preserving this Commonwealth Provisional Government. You've seen the same reports I have. It's falling apart and fast. We need a plan for what happens when that fall is complete. I know some of the other divisions have suggested we just cut off all contact, hide underground and pretend nobody's home. That would, in my opinion, be a mistake. We can't just give up on these people. And with the Android program, we don't have to. We'll soon have the capabilities to deploy androids to the surface in great enough numbers to maintain order. Just, just think about it, all right? Keep it in mind moving forward. Operating at full capacity. The coursers give me the creeps, you know? They seem, I don't know, cold. It must make you proud to see all that Father has done, all that he has built. You wouldn't happen to have a spare polarizer on you, would you?
I hope all your needs are being seen too. Just let me know if they're not. Sean, about this synth. You mean the child? It's a fascinating project, really. There are issues to be solved, of course, but we've made remarkable progress. You made a child synth that looks like you. That's... it's... It's an abomination. It's a synth, not a human being. A simulacrum. Try to be more open-minded. I'll make sure it's brought back online in the near future. You'll have an opportunity to interact with him further. But I'll admit I'm curious. As a parent looking for a child, looking for the younger version of me, what do you think? Do you think you could love him? Like you would a real boy? It's not you. It's not even human. I could never love that. No, perhaps not. But in many ways, he matches what you've been searching for all this time. I wouldn't claim to know everything you're feeling, but... If in some small way the boy's presence can help... I hope you'll keep an open mind. Sean. I couldn't be more proud of what we've achieved. Our advances will, in time, change the world. Dad says I'm as good as he is with computers. Remember to keep unnecessary power Greetings, consumption sir. to a minimum. Don't recharge. It was probably just a glitch in the nervous system. The fine roller control software includes an update. Three levels.
so we can do what we want with it. If you disapprove of the work we do here, Dr. you know what to try to tell them. Well, just a moment. I never said that. I'm simply trying to open everyone's eyes to new possibilities. Well, it's an unwanted distraction. We're men of science, philosophers. You do well to remember that. All our divisions are important. But I tend to think of robotics as the first among them. Please proceed directly to processing. If you ask me, the synth software could use a little more. Father's work has been a real inspiration for me. We're quite fortunate to have the synths to aid us. The latest synth generation is just amazing. Those guys in robotics are working miracles. Excuse me, doctor. Welcome. So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the bioscience division. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. I look forward to learning more about it. In that case, let me... As the name implies, the bioscience division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our, to that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for you. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. Uh -huh. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point. Yeah, I can't imagine anything more exciting than fake gorillas. Speaking only for myself, I find them fascinating. Of course, I might be a little biased. <laughs> I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask. Have you decided whether you'll join us? I doubt it. I just don't think I'd fit in. It's a big decision, I know. 
but it's also a rare and important opportunity. No need to rush to judgment. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. I'm good for now. Thanks. Take care, then. Hello. What others call complaining, I call critical thinking and the challenge. Theoretical limits are made to be broken. Greetings, sir. What? I'm not even doing anything. Reporting status. Always be vigilant. We have many enemies. Doctor. So, here you are. Justin Ayo, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be upfront with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Why? Don't you trust me? Oh, it's nothing personal. I don't trust anyone. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Our primary response... Sure. So basically, you're the secret police. Secret police? Our main instrument is the Courser. A third... Mm -hmm. Coursers hunt down and reclaim. Uh -huh. They are highly self-sufficient. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a courser should be more than a match for any single combatant. I <sighs> suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough problems. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. I'm good for now. Thanks. Very well. Nominal. There's a lot of hubris around here lately. And I don't Duh. care for it. They weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much. I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I wanted to kill the son of a bitch who murdered my wife. Kellogg always was a cold bastard. If you ask me, we're better off without him. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have after. As you, mm -hmm. We maintain it. Uh -huh. There's a lot of machinery behind it. The work we do, so... I'm not on board with anything. No? And yet here you are, poking around. One might find that... suspicious. If you're not planning on staying, I'd recommend keeping your hands to yourself. Wouldn't want to give the impression you're up to something. And consider having another talk with Sean. He really is anxious to have you with us. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. <laughs> I'm good for now. Thanks. Goodbye, then. Our new synths are so lifelike, I keep mistaking them for real people. I've heard stories. In the surface, sure.
I thought all the surface people look like monsters. But you seem pretty normal. Our technology must seem pretty advanced by your standards. Now that you've had a chance to see the Institute firsthand, what do you think? First things first, how do I get back to the surface? The same way you got in, of course. You are not a prisoner here. You may come and go as you please. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized by our motto. Mankind. Redefined. Unfortunately, no advancement comes without occasional setbacks. As remarkable as our synths are, they can be... dangerous without proper supervision. The superior synth mind and body attempting to wrestle with something approaching free will can be a recipe for chaos. If the synths are intelligent and self-aware, then they have a right to free will. However closely they may approximate human behavior, they are still... our creations. When you see what I have to show you, I think you'll agree that we know what is best for our synths. A rogue synth has taken over the Raider Gang at Libertalia. His memories have been erased, and his identity altered. He believes he's a man named Gabriel. Under his leadership, the Raiders have taken many innocent lives. I've dispatched a courser to Libertalia. I'd like you to join him and reclaim that synth. Sure. We'll just fight our way through an army of homicidal maniacs and ask this synth to come on home. I didn't say it would be easy. But I'm confident that with a courser at your side, You'll have no trouble. Now you should get moving. Many people are in danger, and a delay could cost lives. You should get going. There's no time to waste.
Our technology must seem pretty advanced by your standards. Scanning. Subject identified. I'll be along soon. Just tell whoever sent you to prepare for my arrival. How are you going to get back to the surface? Let's just say I still have a few people I can rely on in here. Including someone that knows how to operate the teleportation system. Don't worry. I'll keep my word. Was there anything else? I need to get my things together. Do you have security codes to any of the other sections? Here. This is everything I have. It's not much, but you can use them however you like. Anything else? I wish you'd come with me now. Mm, that would be dangerous. If we're seen together, it could jeopardize everything. Father would never willingly allow me to leave the Institute. I made it from the Capital Wasteland to the Commonwealth on my own, you know. I can take care of myself. Now is there anything else? I need to prepare to leave. Good luck, Doctor. To both of us. I can't express how truly humbling it is to stand in your presence. Scanning unknown identity. Clearance confirmed. Father's work has been a real inspiration for me. A clean and healthy work environment is essential to maximum productivity.
go. We're clear for takeoff. All weapon systems are go. Good shooting, Knight. for landing. Touchdown could be a little rough. Seems to be growing well. Hey. Not many doctors around these days. Let me take a look at you. Not right now. All right. Excuse me. Anything I can lug for you? I'll try to make myself useful. <laughs> no one wants to see a grown man feeling sorry for himself.
wanna buy a cell <laughs> We heading out? I take it you wanna trade? That'd be great. Okay. Seems to be growing well. It's good to know there's still good people. Weapon systems are go. Good shooting, Knight.
the target location. Here's your holotape, Proctor. Hope the data on that thing was worth it. Thanks. You know, it's good to see you're still in one piece. I wasn't sure what the Interceptor would do to you. I wasn't worried. After all, I built the device myself. I have confidence in everything I built, too. But that's because I'll only deal with technology that I understand. Speaking of technology I don't understand, I'll get this holotape to Proctor Quinlan. I'm dying to find out what's on it. Hopefully, it'll reveal a weakness in their defenses. That would be the best-case scenario. Before we jump to conclusions, let's see what Quinlan's scribes can get off of it. I'm sure the Institute has all of their data heavily encrypted, so it's gonna take some time to crack. After that, we'll have to see what we've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. In the meantime, your mission to recruit Dr. Lee still needs to be completed. I believe Elder Maxon gave you all of the details. Good luck, Knight. Most folks are just looking for a hand. All we gotta do is offer. You really do have... Might want to stay away from the plane wreckage, unless you feel like so much more rats.
If you need a lift down to the airport, just grab a ride. I received word that Dr. Lee is returning to us. How cooperative do you think she'll be? Will she be harmed if she doesn't cooperate? Absolutely not. We have big plans for Dr. Lee, including the resurrection of one of her greatest creations. The last thing we'd want to do is kill the Golden Goose. As soon as Dr. Lee arrives, we'll interrogate her aboard the Pridwin. She's been under the Institute's influence for the last decade, and we can't afford to take any chances. Now, on to other matters. Thanks to the success of your reconnaissance efforts, it's time to advance our operations to the next phase. I want you to report to Proctor Ingram at the airport. She has a special project that requires your immediate attention. Once again, Knight, you don't fail to impress. Dismissed. <laughs> signals keep pinging the array. Gonna try to filter it out. Reactor at 100% efficiency. Attention! This is a reminder. All recovered technology must be presented immediately to Proctor Quinlan for evaluation. All forms of technology should be Anyone found in possession of undocumented technologies will be subject to inquiry and punishment. Nice Teague. work bringing Dr. Lee back into the fold. Now, there's something you need? Let me see what you have. Got some choice weapons that just came in. Looking sense are the worst. They hide in plain sight. Technological abominations need to be stopped at any cost. I shouldn't believe it's alive. It's ridiculous. I bet you're eager to get your hands dirty on our new project. How much has Maxon told you about it? Whatever it is, I'm sure it'll help us crush the Institute. It will, but we've got a lot of work ahead of us first. Come on, it's this way. Unless you're blind as a bat, I'm sure you've noticed that we've been building a gantry on the tarmac. Maxon and Kells have been looking for something that'll tip the balance when we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Institute. Now, the Pridwin might be a big beast, but she's not built for fighting. That's where our new project comes in. This storage bay full of parts is what's left of Liberty Prime. The Brotherhood used it in the Capital Wasteland as a weapon against the Enclave. It's the most advanced robot the Brotherhood has ever had at its disposal. Unfortunately, Liberty Prime was destroyed in the line of duty. I've spent the better part of the last few years piecing him back together. And if you think that was easy, try rebuilding a Protectron while you're blindfolded. In order to get Liberty Prime fully operational, we're going to need your help. 
No problem. I'm sure this only looks worse than it actually is. Huh. I wish I had your confidence. Because this is not going to be easy. Now, the good news is that we've got most of Prime's parts fully assembled. The bad news is that it's going to take more than a few rivets and some spot welding to get them working again. The first problem is his CPU. It's fragile, and every time we try to feed power to it, it blows itself out. I assume you can fix that? I wish it was that simple. If this happened to one of the robots on the Pridwin, I'd just swap out its fusion pile. As much as I hate to admit it, Prime's power systems are out of my league. Luckily, you were able to convince Dr. Madison Lee to return to the Brotherhood. She was on the original build team for Liberty Prime a little over a decade ago. I've already spoken to her, but she's reluctant to work on Prime for some reason. If you could get her down here to lend a hand with his power system, we can get the big guy moving. Charging into a situation guns blazing is a good way to get yourself killed. Nothing's more satisfying than a smoking gun and a pocket full of caps. Those armored suits look like fun. Greetings, Knight. Attention, Ferrum Squad, report to debriefing. Ferrum Squad to the debriefing. Never did like this rust bucket. No, sure, the Pridwin's a fine ship, but put me in the field. Dr. Lee. If you're here to talk me into working on Liberty Prime, you can forget it. We had a deal. I said I'd return to the Brotherhood of Steel, and I have. But you neglected to mention that I'd be asked to work on Liberty Prime. I've been down this road with the Brotherhood before. Why would I make the same mistake twice? Because... because we care what happens to the Commonwealth. You know, if anyone else wearing a Brotherhood of Steel uniform said something like that, I'd laugh in their face. But coming from you, it sounds like you actually mean it. Tell Proctor Ingram to get her scribes ready. It's going to take a hell of a lot of work to get Liberty Prime back online, but we'll get it done. Now that Dr. Lee's arrived, I'm certain she will be vital to the Brotherhood's success. and hug the kind of child, it'll be a super mutant. Can't believe that Dr. Lee's returned to the Brotherhood. Thought she was a traitor. Dr. Ingram? Well, 
Things are off to a good start. Isn't that right, Doctor? I hope so. Prime suffered some significant damage to his memory core. I wish your people would have been a bit more careful, Proctor. The good news is that the damage isn't irreversible, and I should be able to get the power flowing into his CPU core without overloading. If your people stay out of my way, that is. Hmm, charming, isn't she? Sorry about that, Ingram. Don't worry about it. We might be butting heads on a few issues, but I've dealt with worse. Besides, Dr. Lee's worth all the aggravation. We're working with one of Prime's original designers. I don't see it getting any better than that. In fact, since things are going so well, we're gonna have you start building as electromagnetic actuators. Sure, anything you need. That's what I love about you. You're ready to leap into action, and I bet you don't have the faintest idea what I'm talking about. The actuators are what allows Liberty Prime's arms and legs to move. Prime's new limbs are way too heavy for the simple hydraulic pistons he had in the past. We're gonna have to rip those out, construct a brand new system using electromagnets, and install them in his limbs. What we need you to do is build the actuators for us. Now that you know what the actuators are, you need to know how to make them. These are the plans and the materials list. Don't lose them. Now, before you get that look on your face, you'll be happy to know that we have plenty of the raw materials on that list right here at the airport. The only thing we need you to head out and find is a high-powered magnet. According to Proctor Quinlan, the best place to find one is in any of the ruined hospitals around the Commonwealth. We've already sent out a few teams to find the rest of the high-powered magnets you'll need. They should be back by the time you return. Once you start building the actuators, we need one for each limb, so you'll need to make a total of four. Good luck. Hesitating to pull the trigger on any of the Commonwealth scum can be fatal. 